Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mailbag. Very special episode of Mailbag today because today I'm going to be showing off something that was sent to me by Battle Systems, Tabletop, Games, and Terrain. This is kind of cardboard-based stuff that you punch out and, and put together with clips as I'm going to show you here today. But uh, it's all full color and you don't have to paint anything. And for a guy like me, that's perfect because I hate painting. So today we're going to look at the Cyberpunk Core set, which was not sent to me by Battle Systems. Uh, I bought this myself, but they did send me a bunch of other stuff, which I will show off eventually when I do the five parsecs from home tabletop mini campaign, which uh, is what this is all in preparation for. But I wanted to have a look at this, sort of an unboxing, <laughs> kind of, not really, not really an unboxing, but you know, you get the idea. I'm not going to try and sell you the product based on what the box looks like. It's a box, it's great, yada, yada, yada. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually make any sense of this. I hope I do. These are the clips, which I'm going to have to open, and then there is a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we got here. Oh, good. This is, this is labeled. Oh, this is excellent. Wall, strut, wall, in case I didn't know what a wall looked like. This is very good because I'm uh, spatially challenged when it comes to stuff like this. I don't have a, a, a quick brain for this stuff, so I kind of have to try and figure out what goes where. So hopefully this will make it easier. Walls, walls, half wall, struts, signs, all kinds of good stuff there. Ground conduits. This is just, there's so much here. So here's what we're going to do. So if I just kind of punch these out, you can see already it's got a bunch of little grooves in there. Grooves in the wall, 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 wall. Wow, that's not dating myself at all, is it? Wide hatchway and wall. Oh, look, the doors come out. I better save those. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff. So let's just punch out a bunch of walls with windows. Hey, you can punch out the windows there. Look at this. There you go. These look good. Okay, so I've got some doors and, and some walls, and we got this little, uh, little thing there, little slots there. So let's have a look at this. I'm going to open up these things and see what we got. All kinds of connectors we've got. T connectors and straightaways, and we've got angled ones and all kinds of stuff. So let's just try and pick something. So I'm gonna get me a T wall. I'll put that guy in there like there. And I shall do the same with the other wall. Cool, this is cool already, cool. Oh, and there's another window there, excellent. I'll keep all of these be lovely. Look at that, just the easiest thing in the world. Boom. Just like that, fantastic. Uh, okay, well that's the basic idea there. You can really configure this however you want. So the options seem pretty limitless in terms of the things you can create. So if I go from this wall and I want another wall, but let's use this angle wall here and just see what happens. Like it's, it's sort of Lego, isn't it? Except you don't have to be good at doing it. I was terrible at Lego, so I was secretly afraid I was going to be terrible at this too, but this actually works out pretty good. This is fairly simple. Okay, let's look at um, some of these struts. So these struts, I think, just kind of hang on the side here like this, don't they? They just sort of do that. Boom. I think. Am I wrong about that? I could be wrong about that. I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's not do the struts at the moment. Now these signs, I think, are just supposed to kind of click onto the outside like that. And that's kind of neat. You got your, your shine G. That's cool. And what does this looks like more of the same, which is good. You want a lot of walls. You want a lot of walls. Just pop out a few more walls here. It, it is really neat, isn't it? That's so easy. That is so easy to use. It's great. I hate painting. I'm terrible at it. I don't mind terrain painting, but when it comes to modern day stuff or sci-fi stuff, I cannot stand it. I can't stand building it because I'm terrible at it. I can't stand painting it. I, I'm just, I have no head for details and no no hands for details either. I My hands shake and then I screw it up. So you can imagine that I just love painting minis. So uh, that's why I'll be using this stuff in the five parsecs from home campaign because I needed sci-fi terrain and uh, Battle Systems was uh, good enough to send me a bunch of stuff. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, this is funky. What's this one all about? That's gotta be something different. And I think you can buy these individually too. I'm, I'm fairly certain. Really could not be simpler. I think that's supposed to be a half wall there. Let's do a half wall there. 
and then like a doorway or something like this should be good and the door and these you can put you can put back in i guess if you wanted to if you wanted to show a door in there right right you know like that really they're, they're pretty sturdy considering they're just cardboard with clips clips them it's neat it's neat you can do a whole bunch of stuff which is cool girders and a wall oh girders girders these i think are to connect hallways i think i think if you connect them at the bottom click on the top oh yeah just like that and you click them there look at that now you got you got like cool little hallways and stuff oh that's so neat that's so cool. I would be a little careful about how I use these girders and stuff, I think, because the thing about terrain, especially if you're using like a tacticals mini, tactical minis game, like what Five Parsecs from Home is, is uh, you don't want too, many, too much stuff obscuring your miniatures. You don't want too much stuff on the top. That's why a lot of terrain stuff, especially with buildings, don't have roofs, because if you have roofs, you got to take them off in order to get your minis and all that kind of stuff. So I, I would be a little careful with that if I were me, and luckily I am, in fact, me. How convenient. Okay, so now we get into some complicated stuff, complicated for me. <laughs> uh, because we've got ground conduits. Now, Battle Systems does have a channel on YouTube where they go over this, so you can learn how to do this yourself. Uh, uh, certainly don't rely on me to uh, tell you how to do this because I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, so everything's labeled here. So ground conduit, ground conduit, ground conduit. Okay, so pop those out. That is extremely useful because I would not know anything. Is it just the three pieces? I guess it's just the three pieces. So I know with these things, you've got sort of little little cuts there. So you just kind of want to, just kind of want to put some pressure behind them and just bend them just a bit at the at the cut and then you just slide that fella slide that fella on there like so you must be forceful with it but not too forceful if you do it too forcefully you'll uh, wreck it because it is just cardboard it's very well constructed cardboard but it's pretty cool ah, look at that instant conduit boom you can put that in the in the hallway with the with the thing, with the girder. Ooh, why is there a conduit to the hallway? I don't know. Bad design, I think. Bad architecture. All right, what else we got here? Uh, all kinds of good stuff here. Workstation. Oh, this looks cool. Let's put the workstation together. Hallways, you go out of the way. Conduit, you get out of the way for a second. You got to be careful when you're popping these things out too. You don't want to uh, rack them. Okay, well, this should be simple, but again, I'm uh, uh, spatially <laughs> challenged. So, how does this work? Um, yeah, 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 I am dumb. Is there another piece I'm missing? Workstation, look, that's supposed to be, I, th I think that's supposed to be like that somehow. How does that work? Those of you who are good at this are screaming at me. No, put it the other way, put it the other way. I'm completely mystified by this. No, no idea. Ooh, a chair. I'm pretty sure I can do a chair. If I can't do a chair, why am I even here? Here we go, chair. Here we go, chair. chair. All right. That's a seat. So that should go in here. Am I right? Am I right? I am right. But now there's one more piece to this chair. Ah, yes. Yeah, see, this I can. This makes sense now. You just go like this. That. Sure, that's a chair. I mean, it's a little wobbly, but you know, incompetent carpenter here in the cyberpunk set, apparently. All right, what else? What else can I screw up? I still can't figure out this stupid workstation. How the hell does this work? Three, is, am I missing a piece? I need to know. Oh, wait a minute. It has little bendies in it. Oh, look at that. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, I am so incredibly dumb. Okay, this this now looks like it might be something. Is that a workstation I see before me? Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. I'm wrecking the place now. So apparently with these little pieces, when you if you want to want to get them in place, you can glue them. It will take more than a workstation to defy my abilities. 
it'll take a chair apparently. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. What else we got here? Cargo crates number two. Pull that guy out of there. So these, I'm guessing, are the sides and the inside. Okay. Right. So that's the inside. I'm guessing that's going to go like that. Any bendy bits on this? It's the thing you have to check with the bendy bits. I never have any patience for this stuff. If this stuff just came pre-built, it would be much better, but that's asking a lot. <laughs> this can't be this difficult. There's no other way it could possibly go, he said with zero confidence in his statement. All right. I think we built ourselves a crate, almost. Almost. Ah! Have I screwed this up? I have. Something is definitely wrong here. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That's the lid. <laughs> they do fit together really well if you, you know, have this tiniest amount of patience. Which I do not. Here's your lid there. You put your lid on your little crate there. And I think, actually, you can do this other thing where you can take the inside of this and you can glue that together there and then it forms sort of like a lip in there which would be kind of great so that's something to do later what else have we got bunk bed okay this bends i know because i can see the little things in it so this bends this way oh you know what i bet you this goes on the wall oh of course that clicks on the wall boom like that so the bunk bed's gonna be hanging oh 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 did I? Did I do it? Is it a bunk bed that attaches to the floor? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think bunk beds, I think like two, but it's just one. It's just a bed. It's just a regular bed, but okay, I got it. Connects to the floor. Oh, wall locker. Let's try wall locker. Guessing something bends here. Oh, that feels like it bends. Feels like it bends like that. Anything else bend? Yes, these things bend. So they bend this way and this way. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. And now a wall locker, which means it connects to the walls. I'm going to guess like that. That looks promising. Okay, so if that hangs off the wall, then this thing must needs be... Oh, 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 I think I got it. Ooh, how exciting. Oh man, I just, just suck at this. Oh, it really just kind of clicks into place, doesn't it? That is fantastic. It really does. It just clicks into place. Like so. And then you just hang the old locker on the wall there. Boom. Ha! Isn't that cool? That's neat. So yeah, that gives you a little taste of how this thing all works together. It's pretty cool. And the thing I love about it the most is the fact that you don't have to paint anything. Everything is pre-painted and pre-designed and it looks so great. All the cool little details and you can really get in there with the details if you want to see some stuff. It's just really, really neat and it's totally repositionable. You can, you can change the, you can, you know, you can take the same set and make like 50 different kinds of places. And I'm pretty sure that with the other sets that they sent me as well, uh, you could probably mix and match and just make all kinds of cool stuff. So this is going to be super, super, super useful. And I don't have to build anything or paint anything, which for me is a huge, huge plus. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to have to do the rest of this stuff now and just get everything organized so that it's ready to be built. Uh, but once I build like this kind of stuff, once I build all of the things, I'll probably use a little bit, a little bit of glue to keep this stuff together. But you know, once I get this stuff done, I can just put it back in the box, and uh, it'll be ready to go where I can, I can use it at any time uh, for any different configuration based on the scenario. So that is going to be super useful. And the the mat, the battle mat that comes with the, the set is really cool too, really, really detailed. But uh, I'm not going to show you that now because that will feature, no doubt, in uh, one of the episodes one or more of the episodes of Five Parsecs from Home, which uh, I'm very, very excited about starting. That'll be, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll be getting that going. I'm still waiting for a few more bits of terrain and some miniatures coming in. Uh, Five Parsecs from Home is going to be basically sponsored by a lot of different people. Battle Systems Terrain is certainly one of the um, sort of unofficial sponsors who have 
sent me a bunch of uh, terrain to use in the show. Uh, obviously, Modifius with the game itself. But, you know, we'll talk about all that stuff once we actually get to that particular series. In the meantime, thanks for joining me. And, uh, yeah, uh, links for the Battle System stuff below if you're interested in buying their stuff. I recommend it. It's cool. And once you, you know, once you figure out how not to break things with your big, stupid ogre meaty fingers, uh, I think you'll find this to be <laughs> very useful if you're in a hurry to create something really cool looking and you don't have time or the inclination to create a bunch of terrain yourself. Anyway, that's uh, that's mailbag for today. Thanks for joining me. If you uh, like what I'm doing here, please do support the channel by liking or subscribing or join us over on Patreon. Or you can buy some merchandise from our store. The link is uh, below for that as well. Um, yeah, I will see you next time.